Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to the Explorer's Crypt on Let's Play Oracle of Seasons! Let's go explore the Explorer's Crypt. Why do they call this an Explorer's Crypt? I mean, I... STOP JUMPING! I, I don't know, I mean, I guess an explorer was buried here. Maybe it's for shadowing for Link. He's an explorer, well, an inventor, but... You know, let's keep the boomerang out. It seems to work pretty well on these guys when I'm not standing two inches away from them. There we go. Huh. Well, maybe I should use this combination more often. Classic Zelda setup. Hey, would you just die? I'm not even gonna get... Okay, you get to live for now then, I guess. Oh, hey, Mr. Owl. Tell us how to get through this place, Mr. Owl. I like shooting the seeds at the owl out of spite. Huh. I wonder what that means. Well, I'm, hmm. This room's kind of dark. Can't get over those torches, though. Hmm. Let's see what's going on over here. Whoa, okay. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you gotta be careful, or that'll... I think it sends you back to the entrance, doesn't it? Something like that. Well, we want to use the Pegasus Seeds to get in there before... to get through this room before the torches go out. Woo! I'm surprised that didn't, uh... Take me out of here. Okay, we got the compass, so let's get back through here. Let's just reset the time, and then do this again. Let's check out the room to the right, then. Yeah, you don't want to get caught without... Whoa! Yeah, you want to have more whoa. Ha! You are no match for the bigger on sword in the red ring. Where are you? There you are. Ha! Alright, you got a key. Wasn't there a locked door earlier? You know, I wasn't planning on doing this, but let me show you what happens when you get caught. I was going to, uh, save and restart from the beginning of the dungeon, but let's get through here. Nuts! Yeah, it just takes you right back. Yeah, so, actually, in this case, that's kind of nice. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see what's over here, then. Whoa, more staff hosts. Or staff host knights. Whatever. They call them Stalpos in uh, Link's Awakening, so that's why I think of them that way. Ooh, a ring. Maybe I should give it to the kitties. They like the rings. Either that or it's the milk residue on them that they like. I don't know. But anyway, it's like those torches. Uh, let's see, just like in Link's Awakening with the magic wand. Haha! -ha, there we go. Hey, it's that ghost from Link's Awakening there. Lots of Link's Awakening requests, or references today. Where are you? Whoa! Gotcha. Well, that was easy. But I have the red ring. Red... Red ring. Have you the wing? No. Red ring. And, uh, the master sword. So, yeah, it makes quick work of those ghosts. Probably be a little harder if you weren't playing this one, uh, second. Yeah, yeah, a little harder. Well, let's see what's over here. Ooh. Ha-ha! Nice. Yeah, we gotta get my balls over there, but I don't feel like playing with my balls right now. Let's head on over here instead. Hmm, more keys. Whoa! Maybe I should've kept... Yeah, I should've kept that bigger on sword on. Oh, wow. Well. But anyway, let's see... Oh, some people wanted me to show this off. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, ha. There we go. Yeah, that's what happens when you hit the ceiling. I wish they would have said ouch, or just something like that, but let's see what's over here. Ooh, there's a switch over there, but I can't get to that. Let's try it like this. If I do that... Whee! There we go. Let's go grab that now. Yeah, it's kind of a nifty little puzzle. I like how they brought back the uh, trampolines for this dungeon. Well, I suppose we've had them in a lot of dungeons, but they're doing it more now, so. Now, what you gotta do in this room, well, I'll show you. Let's see, I am looking for a specific armor statue. But anyway. Yeah, and it's always the last one that I check. Like, if there's four corners, it'll always be the fourth corner. But anyway, one of them is just a statue that won't turn alive, and you gotta push it onto the switch there. It can't ever be, like, the first Armo statue that I check. No, it has to be, of the four, it's always going to be the fourth one that I check. 
Okay. Let's see, I could head down there, but I need another key. So, you know what, let's head on over here first. Whee! Oh, wait, quick, 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 quick. Uh, get my magnetic gloves on. Okay, phew. You wanna have it set to south setting. Come on! Yes! Woo! Gotta be careful there. If only I had Woodman power for that room, but I don't. Oh well. That was a cool power in the game. Let's see what- Whoa! How am I supposed to make that jump? I can't do that even if I uh, use the Pegasus Seeds with the uh, Rocks Feather there. Anyway, this puzzle... Yeah, I might as well leave this on. This puzzle's kind of simple. You want to get all these things onto these uh, green tiles there. So we do that. So hit the inner two, hit the outer two switches, and you get a key. All right. Let's get back past this room. Yeah, those, that floor will just disintegrate eventually. So uh, I'll be heard they'll throw the floor at you. So, whoa. Nice. Come on. Freaking bats. I'll create my own wood shield. Well, I got a wood sword, but that was earlier in the game. Whoa. There we go. Trampoline in there, but I can't get to that. It's over here. Uh oh, another one of those rooms. I thought we took care of that guy. Uh, let's head over here first. Why not? Oh, this part's a little tricky, but not too tricky. You have to use the Pegasus seeds while lighting all of these torches, or it'll go out before uh, you light them all. So you gotta do that quickly. Yeah, you see how it's already dimming, or whatever the word is. Oh, that was a girl? I'm sorry. Nuts. Ah, oh, okay. I guess that works, too. I don't think the, uh, the Rod of Seasons would have worked on them. I mean, it might have. I don't know. I didn't test it, but it could have. Well, let's put that trampoline to use there. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I can do it this way. Uh, you know what? Just... Well, okay. I'll show you. Let's go up here. I was gonna say, to save on time, I just show you the correct solution, but no, no, I feel like dicking around today. Oh, we gotta do it this way. Now what I have to do, we have to get that out of the way. There we go. Now, yeah, I couldn't do this before I had to leave the room because that block would have been in my way here. Uh, I like jumping on trampolines. Too bad we can't see Zelda jumping on trampolines. Unless they did that in wasn't Zelda in that new Zelda game or whatever? She was like a more active character? Or is that like a to be released or something? I don't know. But anyway, we're done here. Alright, so let's head on over through this room. Whoa! Uh, I think I want the Zora ring for this one. Ha ha! I can stay underwater forever if I really wanted to. Or as long as the power doesn't go out in the middle of the recording. Hmm, can't get through that block yet, so let's head on over here. Ooh, I like this room. This one's kind of tricky. How are you supposed to kill those guys? What you gotta do is magnetize them to their deaths. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> nice little puzzle solution. We gotta get those things spinning over here, so now let's head on back then. The first time I did this puzzle, I remember this, back in 2001. My solution, isn't there a ring that uh, lets you throw bombs farther? I had to go all the way back to get that ring in order to throw bombs all the way across that chasm and kill them. That was my solution back then. I did not think about the um, about using the magnetic gloves for that part. So, gotta be careful here. There we go. Ha! There we go. Now we got, hmm, we got a red-colored, uh, trampoline. Well, let's try the ordinary one first. Whoa. Okay, let's take out these guys. Get the red one first. And the flames. Hmm, what did that do? Ah, it opened that door up there. I don't know if I was able, I showed that, but the door was closed originally, so. Now we can make it through. All right. Let's see what the red one does. Ah, uh, let's see. Whoa! Oh, holy cow. It took me up two floors. Let's see. There we go. Whoa, hey. 
that works too. Let's see. Let's get my heart ring going again. I'm starting to lose quite a few hearts. Whoa! That didn't work. Okay, well, let's try it. Oh, you know, I want my sword back. Nuts. Nuts. There we go. Nuts. Game! There we go. Okay, come on. Go. <laughs> uh, I can't help but laugh at myself. Okay, come on. Yes, I got it! The Rocks Cave! A level 2 Rocks Feather. We can double jump with this thing! Double jump for joy! Ha 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 ha! You can double jump now, just press and hold the button. Oh, I love this item! I love the items in this game! They're amazing! Pretty clever! So yeah, now I can just get across here with, with no difficulty. Okay, maybe a little difficulty. That was a little close. But now, yeah, we gotta go back a couple rooms, and there's unfortunately no way around this. You have to go there to get that one key first, then you have to go up here, get the rocks cape, then you gotta go back there to use the rock, to use the rocks cape to get across those pits from earlier. So, uh, yeah, let's skip back to the uh, heart ring if I can. And my boomerang while we're at it. There we go. Whoa! I love double jumping with this thing. Pretty clever item. I like it. Have they used that in, in any other Zelda games? I'm just curious. Or or do they not like letting Link jump at, in general? I, I don't know. I don't know about any other future Zelda... Or, wait a minute. Future Zelda games. Uh, I want that. There we go. Ha! I don't need the Pegasus Seeds to make these jumps. But I wanted them to get past the blocks. There we go. Now let's see, let's see. Oh, I need my, oh, nope. I need my gloves. Well, come to me. Come to Butthead. Get back here. Ha, there we go. All right, oh, I need that heart. Do I have my heart ring? Good. Huh. Man, I, I fell into that pit way too many times. I looked, I made that look a lot harder than it actually was, viewers. Huh. Okay, so we gotta get that trampoline up a few spots, huh? One, two, three. Three! Be careful. There we go. That jump is can be a little tricky sometimes, but not today. There we go. I think I've used up all my bad luck for one day. Alright, there we go. And in this chest we get another key. Alright. Now we can get past the... Oh, not again. Now we can get past that key block from earlier. One. Oh, okay, it's the same one. Huh. Must be my lucky day. They uh, randomized the location of the correct um, Armos Knight uh, every time you re-enter the room, I think. Maybe it's every time you re-enter the dungeon. I don't know. But I think it's every time you re-enter the room. Not today, though. Whoa, there we go. All right, ooh, I got two hearts. Nah, that just triggered at the same time. Okay, well, let's go back to the uh, Zora ring. Whoa! Well, that was close. There we go. Oh, this part. I remember this part now. Now I remember. Yeah, we need... Well, you don't need this, but if you have it, the rocks ring would be very nice, so that way you don't have to rush through this. You can just take your time as the very floor is coming out from under you. Well, there we go. So now I can just kind of take my time with these jumps. Otherwise, these floors would be collapsing on me. There we go. Hmm, wonder what's in that one. Well, let's head on around and find out. Ooh, I can never have enough fire. I love setting my enemies on fire. If I have the opportunity to. So did Veeve. And eh, just stick with the uh, rocks ring for now, I think. Just in case. Hey, I can one-shot them, finally. Haven't been able to one-shot those guys, like, ever. Uh, let's see. I I don't think I need this, but let's just do this just to be safe. There we go. All right, well, let's head on over to that room. But can we defeat the Crypt Keeper? Find out next time!
on Let's Play Oracle of Seasons. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.